Cam, happy birthday. Appreciate you. Um, you guys going to share the Big East title. Cam, what was the, the scene like in the, the post-game scene in the locker room? Uh, <laughs> why you laugh? Uh, we was kind of waiting for Coach to come out. I was a little silent. You know, I had to break the ice. Like, yo, we like we won. Coach came out of the locker room like, yeah, don't say for granted we won. We know we didn't play better than that. But, you know, like you said, we clinched to share the Big East. You know, that's not what we want to do. But that's just the fact of the matter right now. So, uh, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much what he was telling us. Don't take winning for granted. Be excited we won. And uh, be ready for practice tomorrow. You're going to ask us after we win it outright. Locker room will be a little different. Okay. <laughs> uh, Cam, when, when you made your first three three pointers in the first couple minutes, did you have a feeling it was going to be one of those special nights? Uh, I'm going to be honest, I always feel that way. But I mean, yeah, when I seen him go in, I'm like, all right, yeah. So that's pretty much all that happened. I just kept shooting. Cam, I was going to say, we've in the NBA, we've heard of things like playoff Paul. Is there such thing as a birthday Cam now? Because you were on fire. <laughs> I mean, if we play again on my birthday, that'd be cool. So, I mean, yeah, we can, we can trademark that. <laughs> Tyler, for you, when you see Cam hit all those three-pointers to start the game, how much confidence does that get the offense going as you guys were able to break that game open a little bit during that stretch? Yeah, when he starts bombing them in, I just start laughing because, I mean, <laughs> You know, he's one of the best shooters I've ever seen. You know, one of, one of my favorite guys to play with. So when I find him and he bombs him in, it's fun for everybody. Tyler, I think you scored 15 of the last 16 points for, for you guys. That's coming off the heels of those big shots you had against Creighton the other night. How is your, I know, I know you're confident, but how has your confidence grown that you've seen, you've had success in these clutch moments? Just experiences. I mean, everything in life is, is experiences. And I've gone through these, these games, uh, long enough now. I mean, it's my third year in college. Um, so, you know, I've seen pretty much whatever you can see at this point. So just trying to stay poised, trying to keep my guys together and, and go from there. Tyler, you guys were rolling in the first half. Things got a little choppy in the second half. What, what do you think was the disparity there? Uh, I mean, I don't know if there was a disparity. I mean, we were just bombing them in in the first half. Um, I don't know if we were playing particularly well uh, other than just making shots um, and, you know, second half. Maybe we try to play a little too much more one on one, uh, and we weren't we weren't making as many shots. That's pretty much all it comes down to. I've seen teams in the past cut down the nets, have big celebrations after clinching a share of the league title. Was pretty muted out there after this game. Why didn't y'all have? Why did y'all react the way you did after this game? Like we said, we don't want to share. We want we want to you know put our put our stamp and and really win the league. So you know. Like I said to his question, you can, I think the scene will be different, you know, when we actually do that. For both of you, in that first half, Stevie had a couple, a little bit of a stretch, two steals, a block. How, what can you just say about his defensive presence in there to get you guys back um, going? I think DePaul made him maybe close little run uh, right before that all. Uh, I mean, we're just grateful for him and the energy he brings to the team, uh, you know, his role. And he, does is he's a star in his role every day, every day in practice, every day in the games. I mean, every game. So, I mean, yeah, we're just grateful for that, and you know, we don't take him for granted. Yeah, he's our energy giver. I mean, when we see him flying around, we want to start flying around. When we see him getting his hands on the basketball, we want to do the same thing. So, you know, he leads us in that aspect, and, and we we follow him. Cam, I think for you, it's three uh, halftime buzzer beater shots uh, recently. What just what does that like? that confidence into you. Can you just talk about that a little bit? You got a little swag, I think. You maybe pulled up your jersey a little bit going into the locker room running off. I was just trying to untuck it. Uh, but I mean, no, I got the same confidence in every shot I take. I don't shoot a shot thinking I'm going to miss it. So uh, I mean, that's just, just the same thing in those moments. I get the ball, I shoot it, I think I'm going to make it. He said to me right before he said, this one's going in. <laughs> Cam, you said in the past that that job is your number one hater. Yes. You know, Jop hit eight threes against DePaul in their the first game. He had right. seven tonight. What do you think he's going to say to you, or did he say anything to you tonight? So feeding into what you just said, before the game even started, his locker right next to mine, we was going out to uh, start uh, the last time we going out for warm-ups, he looked at me, he was like, I'm such a better shooter than you. And I was like, I was like, like what makes you say that? He was like, I was shooting and it didn't, the ball wasn't even touching the net. I was like, well, I mean, that don't do nothing for the scoreboard. So, yeah, we're going to see. Uh, but yeah, Jobs obviously pretty. He's a great scorer, uh, good teammate, good player. So, I mean, it's just funny to have your roommate as your number one hater when you know it's deep down just all love. 
for both of you, second year you're here with Shaka. Have you seen a difference in maybe his changing uh, of his coaching style, or has it been consistent uh, in, over the two years? As you know, the defense is what he's been known for, but the offense this year for you guys has taken it to another level. He's still preaching defense every day. I mean, he is, like you said, he's a defensive guy. And, you know, on offense, he just lets us kind of kind of play free. But whenever he's yelling at us, it's it's me and him especially, he's talking about defense. Um, so I feel like his attitude hasn't changed. I mean, he, he is who he is, and we love him for that. You know, much has been said about where y'all were picked to finish in the Big East before this season, the lack of all Big East guys. How much of a chip on your shoulder has it been? How satisfying is it now to be where y'all are after what y'all saw before the season and what, they, what coaches thought of you? Like Kolek already said that, that, that chip we got on our shoulder, that's just how we feel and that's how we plan. That's, that's all I pretty much got for that one. Uh, just one last question for you guys. Obviously, you come here and you want to do something like getting a Big East regular season title for the first time in a decade. What was it like for you guys to see the crowd over the past, really, two months? You've got Wes coming to every game. You've got Jay coming to game. Pat Connington's wearing a Tyler Kolick jersey. I, I, how cool is that for you guys to know that, okay, we are really doing something because the crowd is showing up? Yeah, I mean, early on in the year, uh, Nobody knew what we were going to be. We didn't know what we were going to be. And so it's definitely picked up through, throughout the year, like you said. But the support that we get from our fans, we're, we're so grateful for that. Um, and, you know, we, we don't take that for granted. And, and to the former players and, and to some of the Bucks players, Pat, um, you know, we really just appreciate their support because we, we know they got a lot going on. Um, and so we're just, we're just really grateful for them. Appreciate it, sir.